Being a gamer for the majority of my life, I know a few things. I know what makes the game fun and what makes it bad. Welcome everybody to the first episode of Boss Night Reviews. It's nothing new in the gaming world to slightly copy someone else's work, but making it better is a whole different story. I'm going to be looking at a game that took a pre-existing idea and made it into a hit. I'm talking about City Skylines. City Skylines was developed by Colossal Order and was released in March of 2015, so it's a pretty recent game. It doesn't take much to beat EA's dreadful Sim City, which was released back in 2013. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but trust me, Sim City was not worth the money. City Skylines, on the other hand, most definitely is worth checking out. With amazing graphics, great gameplay mechanics, strategic planning, and a mod community stronger than I've seen in a while, this game is worth wasting hours on. Right off the bat, something does seem to be missing. The utter lack of any sort of natural disasters, or any inevitable threat. This means you really need to be passionate about your new city to keep it alive. Threats do exist though, like power and water shortages, civilians leaving your city due to increased violence, as well as other factors. With that said, there's something hypnotizing about building cities and expanding your city. Build roads with easy to use tools, designate zones, provide utility services for your city, and reap the taxes from the city. Then it's rinse and repeats, but this time building new facilities as you unlock them, such as the fire department, hospitals, school districts, police departments, garbage services, public transportation, and the list goes on. This can feel very tedious when you're beginning to learn the game mechanics and what it takes to run a successful city. And sometimes even after you have a thriving city, there is always the need to expand. Build more roads, designate more zones, make sure the entire city has access to running water and electricity. Make sure to build enough industry buildings so people have jobs so that they can pay their taxes, build consumer zones to make your citizens happy, and keep expanding and expanding and expanding. It almost seems like an endless task just to make sure everyone has electricity access. Ugh, so many demands. The music is okay, but I actually got bored with it after a while and ended up just listening to an mp3 player. What's better than building an epic city and listening to some epic music? Yeah! To be honest, this game is actually hard. Like seriously. You need so much to start a good city, yet your money is limited. It took me two tries to get a city to actually form and start growing. Not sure why, but this doesn't detract from the playability and the fun factor too much. It's that feeling of, is this going to be the one? Is this the city that will grow and be huge and be the next Tokyo? Nope, not even close. Well, let's try again. The trial and error is real, and it's surprisingly fun with it. All for all, the game is fun. It's $30 on Steam right now, and it gets the Boss Knight seal of approval. Thanks everyone for watching the first Boss Knight Reviews video, and a huge thanks to Origin PC for helping me make my gaming dreams a reality. Whether you're in the market for an epic gaming PC or laptop, or maybe you're looking for a serious workstation so you can start making videos of your own, Origin PC is the site to see. Check it out by clicking the link down below in the description. And don't forget to slap the subscribe button while you're down there. Thank you everybody, I'll see you next time.